Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. Magnetic reversal news in Shinrin Yoku. Bringing you a grand solar minimum update Monday, November 30th, 11 a.m. Mountain Time 2020. You're looking at the European models showing heavy snow in the Alps as we enter December. And take a look at Norway. They're buried. The U.S., no different. Heavy snow moving into the east as, well, mid-December brings snow back into the west. This is all coming after we had a major M4.4 solar flare, probably X-class, but because it was behind the rim, only we only received M4.4. And this is associated with, well, volcanic eruptions. But the big story, east coast braces for snow, heavy rain in the first major storm system of the fall. Keep calm. It's not winter. Not yet. Snow on the way to start December for the east, six to eight inches for some regions of Appalachia. Heads up, snowshoe. And a blast of cold air moving south, possibly snow arriving today in Georgia. Significant snowfall expected to begin this afternoon in Ohio, where parts of the area should expect more than six inches of snow by the end of Tuesday, which is their lose day. Big chill for Florida. Cold front comes downtown Tuesday and Wednesday. Here are your 7 a.m. numbers. 32 degrees in Ocala, 40 in Daytona Beach, 48 in Cocoa Beach. Say it ain't so. So let's check out the GFS models here and walk it through for you. So let's turn on the, uh, let's turn on the video if I have it plugged in. There we go. All right, now we're talking. How the heck are you? 10 degrees yesterday morning, this morning 14 degrees. So it's chilly in here. And let's take a look at the GFS model. Here is your Monday, heavy snow in the mountains of Oregon and Washington. Snow moving into Ohio and Indiana, even Eastern Michigan. And that will move over the region all day Tuesday, bringing heavy totals to Cleveland, West Virginia, the Appalachians, Western Pennsylvania, and Western New York. While a second system here develops in the Midwest on Wednesday. Here's your Wednesday and Thursday. You're gonna pick up quite a bit of snow here in Wichita, Oklahoma, and of course the Rocky Mountains all the way down to Southern New Mexico. This is the newest model, and then it shows a lull for about a week and then more snow for the east and the west. So we're gonna keep a close eye on that, but what you need to be worried about now, Ohio, West Virginia, heavy snow, western PA, the Finger Lakes region, heads up, it's coming. Europe as well. Norway showing epic totals in the next two weeks, as well as the Alps. And if you're waiting for snow in the UK, <laughs> wait no longer. By Thursday, the north will be picking up snow, and then by the weekend, all of UK will be chilly, to say the least. And that's a small, that's a rapid forecast. Seismic update. Let me try to shrink this down to size. There are no quakes of note. The biggest popped off on the Aleutians just a few hours ago at 5.4. Now, many people reporting Indonesians Liwatolo volcano erupting to 50,000 feet. Nothing could be further from the truth. There was a, an incorrect data set put in there and people ran with it. But if you go check uh, the sources, 50,000 foot is 10 miles into the air. And this is the picture of the eruption, which by the way, is not 10 miles into the air, maybe two. So check your data. In fact, this is the most recent update coming directly from the source. And this puts it at 2.5 miles or four kilometers into the sky, triggering a flight warning and the closure of the local airport. Nothing more. The most significant eruption was not Liwatal, it was Kluchiskov earlier yesterday. And it's slowly been increasing 18,000 to followed by 20,000, followed by 22,000, and then blasting off just hours ago to 25,000 feet, causing the aviation color code to be raised to orange. So this is a definite uptick in Kluchiskov over the last two months, and we'll keep a close eye on it. 
And if you want to check the Lewital data, just come down here, show more, and you will find uh, the actual data set on the eruption. And you're going to be able to see that there was not, in fact. See, it says flight level 50,000. Yeah, that's, that's the, the error. It says multi-level eruption to flight level 10,000 feet. That's how high it was. Moving west and flight level 50,000 moving southeast. So something is amiss there because the estimated eruption was only 12,321 feet. So there's definitely some data issues there. Now, Kluchiskov, another story. Gorgeous incandescent lava flowing down the side. Look at the ash around on the snow. So this baby is definitely waking up. Now the M.4.4 solar flare, we have a whole video. We'll link it at the end of this video. It was quite exceptional. If you go look at Ben Davidson's analysis, um, it's very similar to our analysis. About He did it about 10 hours after ours. And he suggested that the M4.4 is only the power received here, telemetry on Earth. This flare is probably more like an X flare. And luckily, it was around the back side. So very rapid ramping up of solar cycle 25 should keep us all quite vigilant moving forward. Are you prepared? Yes, for the Stone Age. We're partially prepared, so you're probably not. Jaw-dropping snowfall buries towns and cities across Kransknyarninsky Kray, or Siberia, however you want to look at it. And we're talking 10-foot drifts. Yes, that's a car. There's some video footage. Absolutely spectacular November blizzard burying an entire region of Siberia. Look at that. It's like five foot of snow up there. Very interesting. And some breaking news from New Zealand. They're charging 13 people for the White Island volcanic eruption and the subsequent death of dozens of people. New Zealand's workplace regulator has charged 13 parties in its investigation into a deadly volcanic eruption last year. The parties were charged with not meeting health and safety standards in taking tourists to the White Island, or called Wakari in Maori, where the surprise eruption occurred. It killed 22 people and injured dozens more, mostly foreign tourists traveling on a cruise ship. At the time, questions were raised as to why people were allowed on the island, a popular destination for day trippers, given there was reportedly a heightened risk of an eruption. Bill Parks is chief executive of the workplace regulator, WorkSafe. This deeply tragic event was unexpected, but that does not mean it was unforeseeable. After the largest and most complex investigation WorkSafe has ever undertaken, we have concluded that 13 parties did not meet their obligations and should face charges in court. Ten organizations were charged under the Health and Safety at Work Act, with each count carrying a maximum fine of over $1 million. So there you have it. People will be held accountable. Now, this was not unexpected, and that's what the investigation found out. They had actually raised the warning level on the volcano to a level where tourists should not have been allowed to go there. Yet, the money was too green, and they continued to bring people into a dangerous environment. So they will get the fine that they deserve, in my opinion. Give them a thumbs up over here at Reuters for that coverage. Now, the mysterious southern Utah monolith that Rex Bear went to document and is actually in the Utah desert is now gone. Removed by the installer, apparently, but it's a mystery. No one saw it happen, and it was gone just as fast as it was found. Ah, the enigma. Now, the Sistine Chapel of the Ancients, an eight-mile wall of prehistoric paintings of extinct animals, yes, mammoths and stuff, and people painted by the first humans to reach South America 12,500 years ago. Well, if they believe that end of the nonsense story, you'll believe anything. The Salutrians were living in the Americas 16, 17,000 years ago, the same people that painted these pictures. So it's just sad how pathetic the state of archaeology is and that academics, well, they just have no prowess for actually understanding the nature and scope of the world we live in. But nonetheless, the findings are glorious. 
And I leave you links to a few articles and some of the pictures. Sistine Chapel of the Ancients, rock art discovered in remote Amazon. Very similar to all the rock art we find here in North America. Go figure. And there's an excellent panel here where almost all of these glyphs are visible in the Southwest, just about an hour from here. So, bone up. We've been around for a while. And we've been warning ourselves about ourselves for tens of thousands of years. Now NASA time lapse, time lapse depicts Earth losing its oceans because that's what will happen when we all burn up and it will all be your fault. <laughs> more scare tactics of insanity. Now a little bit more down to Earth science. A stable Atlantic meridional overturning circulation is a changing North Atlantic Ocean since the 1990s. And it's the breakdown of the jet stream that we talk about on the channel, which is now supported by the mainstream. Scientists propose a brand new periodic table, and it's completely stupid. So I won't even discuss it. But just come scroll down here and look at some of the ridiculous versions. There, there's the one. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's really easy to understand there. And then here's another one for, I guess, third graders. I don't get it. It's the dumbing down of society, in my opinion. More dumbing down. Our solar system is going to totally disintegrate sooner than we thought. You should be very afraid. Our solar system is disintegrating. Have you heard? I just saw it. Fireball as bright as the full moon spotted in the night sky over Japan. It was a bolide, and as it approached the surface of the Earth, well, it discharged. Like a boom, right there. Like a solar full moon boom. Oh, we'll get demonetized if we keep that on. But let's just take a look at the bolide. Boom! Flashing through the night sky. Discharging right before it hits the surface. Very similar to all large bolides we see enter the atmosphere. They seem to discharge above the surface. And luckily, no injuries were reported here. But quite a fantastical bolide lighting up the, the night sky there. Fantastic. Hope you got something out of the video. Things are ramping up. We hope you're preparing. The way the sun is acting should give you pause. Where is that? If this was an X-class solar flare, in fact, and it had shot off towards the Earth, there would be regions of our planet potentially in the dark right now for long periods of time. Are you prepared to survive without heat and electricity? Do you have the backups you need, food and water? to survive and thrive in these times? Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. We love each and every one of you. Thank you to our one-time donors, our new Patreons. Without you, we cannot make this happen. Be safe. We love you. And that is a boom to knowledge. Click on one of the other boxes to gain more knowledge. Subscribe and share this video.